All right, y'all. So, man, this day just been hell, y'all. Like, it's ridiculous. Ah. So. So I'm here on on pickup. Picked up this load. I'm at the shipper actually. So I'm at the shipper. I picked up this load. I looked over my trailer. I looked over everything this morning pre-trip. Uh, got loaded and before taking off, I was like, yeah, the load seems a little heavy. They said it's not just under 10,000 pounds. I noticed in the back the least. Right back. A little loud, y'all. y'all got loaded out here at the shipper is it which is actually where i'm at like i said after i got loaded i was walking around the trailer because it looks like it squatted a little bit so i just checked everything sure enough there's a hanger that holds the leaf spring down on top of the bolt in the rear so that broke so the initial plan was to get that welded they had a fabrication shop right here at the shipper i came back to get unloaded so I can take it to the shop and they're like, man, we got a fabrication shop here. So we can just, you know what I'm saying? We'll take a look at it, lifted it up, getting ready to weld. And sure enough, the bolt inside of my leaf spring just dropped out. So that's another thing that they're repairing. These guys are just doing it, you know, from the kindness of their heart. Not really asking me for any, any cash or anything like that. But I'm going to definitely shoot them something, man. Whether I buy them lunch, shoot them $100 each on the cash app or something. But yeah, man, this is the first uh, load back out of Houston, man. Today is Wednesday. Broker's already cool. I'm supposed to be dropping this off tomorrow, but it looks like I'm gonna drop it off Friday morning in Tennessee. Just when you're getting ready to head back out, you know, something else, it's always something. It's always a few setbacks. And like I said, thankfully I got these guys that were willing to help. I gotta fill y'all in on um I gotta fill y'all in on the border man kind of how shit went down and I wouldn't even plan on picking up the camera to be honest I'm definitely showing y'all go find some parking real quick but yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna just fill y'all in man and like I said just showing y'all how you know shit be on the road bro so well first we're about to meet up with load them up Ricky let me turn this down my dog load him up, Ricky out here. He said he got a, uh, a tool bag that, that he got an extra one he gonna hand to me. So, about to see where he at. Link up and then continue on the road, so. All right, there you go. Load him up, Ricky. All right, y'all, let me park this bad boy. Yo. Yo. Got my dog, Ricky, in this bit. <laughs> What's good, bro? Load him up. Load him up, load him up. What's good, bro? Chilling, bro. <laughs> Out here, man. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Got my dog, man. This, no, this high school, high school days, man, back in the day. Piper in this bitch. Angles. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm um take a quick little stop here. Oh, you still got the drone up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the drone up there. I might pull mine out. I don't know, man. Yeah, y'all, quick, quick little break. Alright, fans. So let me tell y'all, let me let me show y'all what happened, man. Alright, so we had to repair this uh 
this piece that's right up in here, if you can see. That part right there pretty much snapped. And the leaf spring was sitting up here. And while repairing this part, the screw at the bottom that holds the leaf springs together just dropped out. So these guys at the shop, man, they pretty much put everything together they had. They got me two new U-bolts and really came through, man. And they, they didn't want to charge me a thing. I was like, nah, I got to send y'all something, man. I got to give y'all, let me buy y'all lunch. So I sent them a hundred bucks, got everything back up. But yeah, y'all, so let me tell y'all real quick, man. So I picked up this load this morning in Houston two plates and at the shipper i noticed i was like yo i don't know it looked a little heavy like i was telling you guys whenever i put a load on my trailer and i see it squad or whatever whatever it is i always walk around and kind of look at things so i went under the trailer and looked you know at, at all my u-bolts my leaf springs and that's when i realized that that piece was broken and i did my pti this morning my pre-trip maybe i missed it i'm just glad i caught it at this time before actually getting out there on the road because what i did was after i got loaded i pulled off for the lot i made a few calls and i was like yeah i'm not gonna drive with it like that i called a few welders i was getting ready to have a welder come out but i had to go ahead and get unloaded first based off of what you know they said i needed to do so when i pulled back in to get unloaded the guys were just like yo we got a fabrication shop here we can probably weld that for you weld it up for you real quick i said say less so at the shipper they repaired, you know, everything I needed for that back axle. So that was definitely a blessing. The fact that they were able to repair and fix everything at the shipper. Yeah, so I got the, what you call it, load. This metal, two plates, road plates. Um, Yeah. And then Ricky. Ricky got a nice little load. El Camino Chevy. Oh, shit. Where you... Bro, you about to go, bro? <laughs> yeah, now nah, this is nice. How the interior? Clean? Yeah, I'll push this, bro. I'm riding this shit, bro. This shit live. What year you said? 78. 78. I gotta make sure. 78, 68, one of them. 78, 68, yeah, one of them oh, things. Them wheels, man. It's dope. Ricky got the non CDL setup. Dually. Ricky, what you got, a 35? What you got, 28 plus 5? 25 plus 5. 25 plus 5. Okay. Hey, y'all go check out my man Ricky. Load him up, Ricky, on YouTube, Instagram. Load him up, load him up. I'm about to go on the scale with mine and see what I'm what my weight is at because I don't trust these mob vibes. Yes sir. First things y'all see that happen was the damn, I, I don't even remember what it's called, man. It's uh, something hanger, something broke, man, on the, that holds the leaf spring down in the back right above that bolt. Forgot what it's called, but um, that was the first thing that happened. Thankfully, you know, the guys at the shipper, you know, they said they did fabrication and they were able to help me out. But now um i just ran a scale and this load is fourteen thousand pounds just about thirteen thousand eight something and so the way it happened first is when i got to the shipper they wanted to load me up with four of these plates 
And I was like, nah, the Raycon says two plates at 8,000 pounds. So the guy comes out and he's like, well, you know, um, they're about 5,000 piece, 4,500 a piece. I'm like, all right, I can scale that 10,000. I can scale 10, five. I noticed it was a little heavy when I left. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna um, I'm a shoot to a scale and I'm gonna just wait. So I had a downtime of waiting to get the things fixed. And, you know, I'm, and, I'm, and now I'm thinking like, man, maybe they were helping out because, you know, they know this shit was heavy. Maybe they, they caused the damage or whatever. Long story short, man, we came on a scale. My total scale weight is 29,140. So I'm way over, man, way over on my drives, way over on my trailer axles. So now um, I'm just heading back. I gotta head back home. I'm gonna go to the storage leave my truck and trailer at the storage and then in the morning i'm gonna wifey's gonna take me back to the, the storage yard and you know drop this drop this uh back off at the shipper man tell him look we can't take it it's uh it's over my uh weight restrictions so all day man all day and i'm getting back to the storage around 7 30 i started my day at you know six o'clock got hooked up by seven did my pre-trip was on the road by 7 30 and went to the shipper by, I would say, 8, 8.30. Waited a little bit to get on, get loaded, got loaded. I, and I noticed it, man, when I when, when they dropped that load on there, I noticed it kind of squat a little, a little bit. And that's why I was like, let me do this walk, let me do the walk around and just make sure, you know, everything looks good. So, and that's when I noticed the issue with the leaf spring. As they're fixing the, uh, as they were gonna re-weld that piece that broke off, the bolt that goes right in between the leaf springs just drops out, so. I, I don't know, man. It's definitely a shitty day, like a whole day wasted. I really needed to get back on the road, man, and start, you know, because I've been off, like y'all seen, I've been off for a month, and then I came back. Been trying to get out of Houston for a couple of days, and loads just, loads just look shitty, man. So it's been a rough day, man. I'm hoping um, we got to definitely bounce back from this, but I'm going to head back. We're going to see if we can get something out tomorrow, which is Thursday. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is bullshit. All right, y'all. I'm just pulling back up, man. It's the next day. So yesterday, of course, it was too late for me to um come back to the shipper and get unloaded because it was just too late. They were closed. So anyways, I'm pulling up. Um, I think I told y'all, man, y'all seeing, you know, I think I showed the scale ticket where this shit weighs 14,000 pounds. And like I said, when I asked the shipper what the weight was, they wanted to put four of these plates on my trailer and I was like, nah, I'm here for two at, you know, 8,000 based off of what the rate con said. And the shipper was like, oh no, they're 4,500 a piece, about 5,000. We'll just put two. And I, f I feel like they had an idea, man, of what the hell this shit weighed. So let me get out here and unsecure this. And um, yeah, man, what a day wasted. <laughs> you know, I wasted all day yesterday. Uh, that's what comes with this shit, man. Definitely lost some money. We got a total, though. We got a total of 350 thanks to Wifey. Wifey hit up the broker and told him about the lease spring issue. And, you know, hey, we're overweight, so we need a 350 So that's what they gave us. But let me go find someone and get unloaded, and we're going to wrap this video up. <laughs> Dropped off the load, man. For this truck to go by. So we just dropped off that load, y'all, and we're still here in Houston. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for another load. If not, then you know we might be sitting for another couple of days because we're not taking no cheap freight. God damn on that. And that's all they got, man, on these boards and shit. So all right, y'all. Hey, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Quick video just to show the struggle sometimes out here, man. And and just know it's not all, you know, peaches and cream and, you know, tons of money just dropping in your pockets and, you know, shit like that. So definitely uh, going to have some losses. You know, we just had a loss, probably lost about 2K. Um, you know, just not be, just being not able to run that load and fuel and, and just, the, just the entire...
you know, situation, the repairs and shit like that. So if I didn't mention it, man, so I was at the shipper and those guys that did the repairs were at the shipper and they weren't, you know, they didn't want to charge me. And I kind of thought maybe they weren't trying to charge me because they know that shit was heavy. But um, they did it, man. And I threw them a hundred bucks just to, you know, hey, y'all go buy some lunch at least or something. Because I don't like, you know, just taking favors for free. They really put in the work and they really get me, got me back up. But come to find out the weight was 14K and it was overloaded. So anyways, with that being said, I'm out of here, man. Stay tuned for the next video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. And we're going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.